Hello and welcome to Serial Midnight. I'm Heath, and in this episode, I want to talk about the legacy, the influence, and the cult status of Massacre at Central High. This is a 1976 movie that, in many ways, feels like a a, a made-for-TV production. It feels like one of those after-school specials, but it is not. It's got this really sappy introduction, this song, You're at the crossroads of your life. Very patronizing, very just saccharine. Uh, and even like the, the, the credits, the way it rolls out, it feels like an after-school special, but then it gets crazy. Uh, this is a movie about revenge, about murder, played out against the backdrop of high school. It's entirely populated by young people. We never see parents. There are no authority figures. There's no teachers here. There's only a few adults at the very end of the movie because of a party scene that's taking place basically in the background. Uh, this movie is entirely played out against the caste system, the, the, uh, the culture of high school. And a new kid, is he arrives in town and he's got connections with one of the really cool kids that's running the school. You know, this, this, uh, the cool kid and his gang are terrorizing the school. They take what they want. They, they terrorize the, the younger kids, the, the geeks. Uh, they, they rape the girls. They just do what they want to do. Again, not reality. None of this would happen because the authorities would be on you so fast. But in the reality of the film... They're just out of control. And that's when you start to realize this movie is a metaphor for kind of our society that we live in. And it's a 1976 movie. It's still relevant today. My hook for this conversation is, does the movie Heathers exist without Massacre at Central High? I think absolutely not. Uh, it owes so much. Heathers owes so much to Massacre, Massacre at Central High. The Even down to the wardrobe, the coat that the character wears in Massacre at Central High, the climax of the film, the plan for what he's going to do, it's exactly the same. The premise is exactly the same. Hey, these people are holding us back. They should pay for what they've done. Let's go get them. That's, that's Massacre at Central High. And the, as, as our main character begins to extract his revenge on the people that he believes have wronged him and the school at large, the deaths get increasingly more creative and increasingly more surreal. I think they're funny. I'm sure there are people that are watching this that don't see the humor here that find it's not a horror movie. It's a satire, but it's a sat satire, you know, is loaded with commentary about that. That's why we resonate with satire because it hits us where we live. We're like, oh, I recognize that. And this movie presents uh, all the different facets of society that we encounter in our own journey so we've got the jock we've got the book guy the bookie guy we've got the hippie we've got you know all the different facets of society are represented and they go after them one by one it's a fascinating movie with a ton of exploitation elements in it it's filled with nudity this is where it really departs from that made for tv feel because of course you know we're talking about a very low budget movie but it shot like millions of dollars it looks beautiful uh, got that California, it's the underbelly of the California dream is what it is. Um, but it's shot very well and it's got a lot of really great in-camera stunts because there's a CGI, there's no visual effects. It's all just, hey, let's push this van down a hill and watch it blow up, that kind of a thing. Uh, but filled with nudity, filled with like insane violence. But again, not horror, satire. Like Heather's, Heather's is not horror, though you could argue that what you're seeing on camera is horrific, but it's a satire. Uh, it's telling us something about who we are. I just think it's fascinating that this movie was made, you know, coming up on 50 years ago, and we're not any different. We're exactly the same. The cars look a little bit different. The clothes look a little bit different, but it's, we live in the exact same world in many, in many ways. Uh, this is a new Blu-ray that's just arrived from Synapse Films. Now, this is previously, it was released in 2020 in a two-disc steelbook edition that had the Blu-ray and a DVD and a steelbook. They've dropped the DVD, they've dropped the steelbook, and this is available at retail, you know, uh, Best Buy, Amazon, all those places. And it's loaded. It's the same Blu-ray disc as last time, but it's absolutely loaded for fans of this movie. You've got... Uh, there's a, uh, the, the audio, people might miss this too. If you, if you pick this disc up under the audio options, the setup options, there's some audio tracks that kind of look like a commentary, but they're not actually a commentary. So there's a, um, audio interviews by Mike White, the projection booth podcast featuring, uh, the cast members audio interview with a director who has since passed away. I think he passed in 2019. Um, 
And then there's a 42 minute making of documentary about this movie and they really get into it. If you think I'm overanalyzing, I'm not. They approached this movie creatively. They approached it very intelligently. The goal the kids were like, they're doing, they're running improv lines to try to get ready. Like this is not, it didn't just happen. This is a very premeditated, thoughtful movie. And it's interesting, you know, look at the school violence that's happening. It has been happening for decades now. Uh, here's a movie from 1976 that's got something to say about it. And it's got something to say about us. Uh, it stars uh, Kimberly Beck, who's from Final the 13th, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Rainbow Smith, who is always just gorgeous to me in everything that she's in. She has left us um, way too young, way too soon. But she's here and she gets to be... She's she's rainbow that's you know uh the real star here for me is is robert carradine who a lot of people know robert carradine from revenge of the nerds but if there was ever any doubt that he was actually super cool like he is one of the coolest people ever like motorcycle he he talks in the, in the making of documentary about how he took his the the money he was going to make from this movie and invested it in a racing school so he could go race just super super cool um and so here we are all these years later, this is a cult movie that continues to get more and more popular as more people discover it. I think it's an interesting movie that should be uh, looked at as uh, highly influential. It's a super popular cult film. If you've never seen it, it's never been a better time to discover it than right now. So Massacre at Central High is out now on uh, Blu-ray from Synapse Films. And I would love to know what you think about this movie. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Until next time, I'll catch you later.